Hey guys, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Faiz Benjmi. Uh, I am a food science technology student from UITM Kuala Pilar. And in this video, we are going to discuss about how HACCP manage their quality system. Alright, first, do you know about HACCP? So HACCP is a systematic approach to food safety management that is designed to identify, evaluate and control hazards throughout the food production process. So it ensures food safety towards biological, chemical and also physical hazards in the production processes that could cause the finished products to be unsafe. So it basically protect our food from any contaminants that could affect the quality and also the safetyness. Alright, now let's take a look at the seven principle of HACC fee. So number one is conduct a hazard analysis. Number two, determine CCP. CCP is a critical control point. Number three, we establish critical limits. And number four, we implement monitoring monitoring procedures. Number five, we establish corrective actions. Number six, implement verification procedures. And the last one, we establish the record keeping procedures. Now let's take a look at how HACCP manage the quality system. So they manage their quality system by following this uh, HACCP planning. So the first step is to assemble a HACCP team, which is assemble a team of individuals who have a specific knowledge about the product and also the entire process and then the next step is to describe about the product so HACCP team will provide a general description of the food ingredients and also the processing method regarding the product so the method of distribution should be described with information about the condition of the food to be distributed whether it whether it will be distributed in an ambient temperature or cold temperature and then the next step is to identify the intended use of the product. So, the HACCP team will describe the normal expected use of the food. The intended consumers may be segment of population such as infants or the elders. And then, step 4, construct a flow diagram. So, flow diagram should provide a clear and simple outline of all the steps involved in the process that are under control of the establishment. So, Include the steps in the food chain which is before and after after the processing that occurs in the establishment. Hello everyone, Anyong Hasayo. So I am Hafizi Nimida going to continue about step of planning HACCP, which is step five. HACCP planning. Step five. Verify the flow diagrams. HACCP teams review the operation to verify the accuracy and completeness of the flow diagrams. Modifications should be made if necessary. Step 6. Conduct Hazard Analysis Principle 1. HACCP teams conduct a hazard analysis and identify appropriate countermeasure. All potential hazards likely to occur shall be identified, recorded, overlaid, and shall be documented. Step 7. Identify CCP Principle 2. Identify CCP for each significant hazard. All significant hazards shall be controlled by the control measure established at one or more CCPs. Step 8. Establish critical limits for each CCP. Principle 3. Critical limits shall be specified for each CCP based on the selected monitoring parameters. CL shall be validated and measurable to ensure the hazard is reduced to an acceptable level. Step 9. Establish monitoring procedure. Principle for establish monitoring procedure for each CCP relative to each CL. It consists of sequence of plan observation to detect loss of control at the CCP. Step 10. Establish corrective action. Principle 5. Important to replace the failure preventive measure. It shall ensure that the CCP is bring back into control. Step 11. Establish verified HACCP plans. Principle 6. Establish and maintain document for verification 
Verification performed by qualified personnel and the result shall be recorded. Step 12. Establish record keeping. Principle 7. Establish a document HACCP system and documentation must be appropriate to the nature and size of operation. Accurate record keeping is important to the application of HACCP system. So for the conclusion, by following all these steps, the HACCP teams can do the required action in the process of certificate application. Therefore, have food premise effectively manage quality and ensure the production of safe and worrisome food product for consumer. So that's all for us. Thank you. Got it. Bye.